Hello folks, Sam Owens here with another great product uh, and this is a light bulb camera. It looks like a light bulb but it's uh, actually got a camera in it and uh, this thing uh, is really nice in that uh, it's uh, IP67 waterproof meaning you can mount it outdoors and it can survive rain and water this uh, camera and i'm going to open it up let you see it right off the bat you get instructions which are going to guide you in the uh, setup of the camera with the app and this camera uh, is right there is the lens and it will uh, tilt and pan and it pans notice this goes 360 degrees it doesn't stop and you can manually move this uh, if you need to uh, and it will not hurt anything uh, you can mount it like this which is the standard way and it comes set up with that but you can mount it like this but you've got to click the option in the settings to reverse the video if you uh, don't do that and you take your video like this it's going to be end up upside down so you're going to have to change it and your video has already been shot so you can't change that okay um, let's look at uh, where you put the memory card in this is on this side on the other side you're going to see is a speaker yes you can remotely talk to someone that's out there tell them Hey, you might want to get away. I'm calling the police and they will hear it there. Uh, this right here is where you're going to put your memory card and I've already put it in there. It will take uh, 128 gig is the maximum. Uh, I use 64 and the way it fits in is just like that and then push with your fingernail until it just clicks out and it will be out a little ways and to remove it you push it in and it comes out and then slide it out I'm gonna stick it back in and right there it's locked in right here is the reset you're gonna be instructed in the instructions that if for some reason the setup does not go uh, as uh, as it's planned and it was unsuccessful you can restart and start over and Here's one other thing that they give you. They want you to do the setup within about six feet of your uh, Wi-Fi adapter or your modem. This is a little power strip and it's turned on. This is the guide I'm going to use because it's really set up to show you everything you need. Okay, now, right here, uh, it starts uh, app setup. And they want us to connect to the app, uh, but first they say uh, connect the camera to power via included uh, bulb base. It says to power this up, and you just slowly go to the shield, go right in. Uh, actually, you can't turn here. You gotta turn in this part until it's finally hooked up, and there it goes. Okay, now there, there's the beeps. Uh, please download uh, the Seminetlec app from the App Store uh, or scan the code. I'm going to scan this code and then there it goes. And then you go right here and scan that code right there. Whoop, there it went. That is the uh, app right there it's the uh, yep that's the app uh, icon and we're going to download it and now we're going to get it and then it's going to circle around uh, and first you have to double click over here that's click click and now it's going to start out it takes a little time Okay, there we go. Uh, it says open now, so uh, we're ready to open it. Okay, uh, the app has uh, downloaded. Now the beeping is from the camera up there, 
and uh, it's trying to get ready to pair. So I'm going to open this app right here. And now it's asking me some things. Uh, would I like to get notifications? You want to allow this kind of stuff. And then an agreement that you usually get. So you need to agree to it. You can read it if you want. Now we have two things here. Log in and sign up. You have to first register if you have not registered uh, with this app before. So if you try to sign in, you're not going to do it. So this might be the first opportunity for a problem. Go down here and select sign up. You're going to create a username and password. Now, uh, I'm going to do this uh, without showing you because I don't want to show you all my personal information. So what you're going to do is go through the registration and you want to make sure this little box is checked. I agree. And then you will get a verification code which will be sent to that email that you select. Okay, I'm hiding my email, but that's already checked. And now this highlights in blue. I click here uh, to get the code, which is going to my email address. There's my verification code uh, from the email. This is part of it. Uh, this is a one-time shot, so it's not any secret information. It's only to, to log in right now. So I've got to write that down and enter it into that uh, field okay now i'm going to put it in and that was one eight four nine three seven and then i oh set password now this is where i have to set my password my username is going to be my email address now you have to click on that and then it will record what you put in here and there's the parameter. Okay, I've uh, entered my password there and you can click over here and see the password and be sure that it's what you put in with the caps and numbers and what have you. Now this is lit up and I'm ready to do done. And there we go. And now we need to go to the next step. And let me read that. Uh, I haven't done this yet, so I'm uh, working it just like you would. Now, folks, uh, after you download the app, uh, the third step is make sure your phone is connected to a 2.4 gig Wi-Fi network. Uh, this is mine, my Verizon. And I'm going to check my phone. Okay, folks, uh, my Wi-Fi went off and uh, it, I lost connection. Right here, do you see it says LTE? That's cellular. And uh, I would not be able to set my camera up with uh, my phone on a cellular connection. I need my Wi-Fi network, which is right here. And you do this in settings. And now it clicked up and notice I'm on it now. So now I can go back to uh, my app, which is right here. And now it says, would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. Okay, so if the camera is wanting to connect, so I'm going to allow it. So you do that. And then it says, uh, do I want to... Uh, allow this okay uh, continue would like to use bluetooth and now it's asking me to add device so i'm going to look for that camera and i click on this p6 so that's uh, p4 we want p6 which is showing in the in the uh, instructions okay continue allow while using okay and now add manually I'm going to click on that set up device it says turn off the switch before installing install the camera into the light bulb or the base and I go next 
says turn on the switch wait until the indicator starts flashing slowly and there it is right there if the indicator is not da -de -da, and then go next oh and now I've got to take my camera and I've got to scan it says use the camera to scan the QR code from 8 to 12 inches now what I have to do is go to my QR reader right here and do that and now there's the QR reader now I'm going to look for the camera and move it back and forth let's see I'm gonna do it around this way so I can get back and now you just kind of move it back and forth it'll make a sound when it's connected there it did it this is hard to do to show you I gotta go back to the app there and then the indicating is slowly blinking next and there it's connected okay we've got to enter the password if you, okay there it's connected oh right here I've got to enter the password for my Wi-Fi uh, right here so you need to know that uh, Wi-Fi password this is not what you entered uh, for the app so uh, let me do that and I'm not going to show you what it is so when you're ready to put the password in you click here and then you're going to enter the password now it's telling me it wants to, it wants to uh, uh, scan this code use the camera on the, uh, to scan this QR code that's the camera from here so I'm going to swing this around and we're going to put this like this there it did it and i heard the prompt connecting connecting device and it's doing it now And this is going through, but it, this is uh, power. There you go. Added successfully. See that? So this is what you want to see. So there's kind of a few steps there that have to be followed exactly. And now it says done. I do this. And I should see the picture in just a moment. There we go. Hey. Can you see it? Hot dog. Okay. So we have successfully um, connected the camera uh, to the app. I'm on the app right now. And uh, let me get set up and we'll do a little bit of control with it uh, so you can see. Uh, so this actually completes the a basic setup. Now we have some settings in there that we want to set. Now, folks, uh, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is uh, control the camera because it's supposed to be able to tilt and uh, spin and all of that. Right down at the bottom, right down here is messages and direction and cloud and features. Uh, right now, this is, lit, uh, is red. That means that this is what you get when you click on features. Cloud, if you want to purchase cloud, you can purchase it. You do not have to have it to operate the camera. Go here, and you get a little control wheel here. And if I do this, you see the camera is moving. If I do it back, and I can hold it, and it'll spin. Now I'm going to spin it all the way around. Now it's going all the way around, so you can see it will go 360. And now I can stop. I can go down. And see, you can see me operating it. Go up, back up to where I want. 
and it can only go so high that's as high as it can go okay if you want to watch something up then you need to turn the camera uh, over and have it pointing up uh, right here it'll go all the way down and that's as far as it'll go okay and then you can go back and that's pretty much the controls now if you want to go over here uh, you can do playback uh, but first we have to go up here to these dots right here and and we're gonna do some basic setup right there this is the settings sec you can do uh, Amazon Echo and Google Home if you want to do uh, 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 connection with those private mode now basic uh, connection right here you want to do this and if your screen was flipped over notice see this is in the correct position but if you want to flip the screen watch what happens we're going to go back and I'm just showing you see there if your if your picture is like that then you've got to go over here to basic settings and then you want to take this off okay and then there's a there's a time mark if you don't want your time on there all of these things you can do now to get out of that and get back to the main menu night vision it's in auto mode you can go over here and you can do color auto I'm in auto right there it shows you then come on down display and here's the brightness sharpness contrast that's pretty much up and then I just kind of bring it on up and then we're going to get to advanced settings detection alarm settings click here motion detection I'm going to put that on so I can get alarms when it uh, sees some action alarm sensitivity medium sounds good area you can actually shrink the amount of area I'm gonna let you play with the motion tracking that is fun to watch it will actually the camera will follow you see right there it's wanting to follow me see I'm moving there well you don't see the camera but when I did that you may want to do that motion tracking and I'll show you the effects of that let's go over and I'll show you this really works great okay now I'm moving I'm gonna get back and move around and you watch it I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna walk see it's following me see and uh, I'm not gonna move the camera because you're uh, the camera is just up to the right and it's moving around that is good this really works great okay so if you want to turn that off you have to go back to settings and I'm going to turn it off right now because I'm trying to work with this so I go back over uh, to the detection and over here I want to take out motion tracking now I still got motion detection in other words if somebody walks it'll give an alarm to say that and, and it can start recording now we're gonna go uh, to storage we did detection so you want to walk through each one of these and look at them and just play with it there's my memory card and used it's used a little bit because it's recorded a little bit remaining capacity okay and then you can if it's a brand new card you can format it see right there it just saw uh, detected this app just detected movement that's me moving around okay and then you have restart device remove device so you got a lot to uh, work with and basically the camera is ready to be moved now to the location I want and that's a good signal but the signal is right here next to me I'm going to move the camera uh, now to let me just kind of move this back so you can see the see what we got here this is our setup that uh, I did and now what I'm going to do is remove the camera and put it in the location that uh, it's going to live folks 
this camera can be a lot of fun and it also can help monitor your uh, house uh, when you're away. I would suggest once you get it connected like we did, experiment around. If you're not getting real good response, you may have a wall or a piece of furniture in the line. So move your uh, router around if you can or move the camera. So uh, you got two things there to do. So start with the uh, router or the camera as close to the router as you can get and then move around and try to not get too many walls uh, in the uh, path of the camera. So uh, that's what you got to do. <laughs> and you'll be able to do it if you follow my video and uh, I hope it works for you. All right, I want to thank you very much for watching my video.